When I was in college, I and a few friends decided to spend the weekend in a secluded cabin deep in the woods. The idea was to escape the hustle and bustle of college life and enjoy nature. My friend's uncle owned the cabin and was kind enough to let us use it. The cabin was older, probably built in the 1940s, with creaky wooden floors, a fireplace, and large windows that provided an amazing view of the surrounding trees. While it was old and a bit spooky, the charm was in its rustic appeal. The only downside was the abandoned house just across a small creek. The windows and doors were boarded up, and it looked like it had been that way for years. Locals told us the house was cursed, but we were skeptical college students and brushed it off. The first night was fun, with us roasting marshmallows yeah. and sharing scary oh, stories. No. As darkness took over, oh, no. the woods' noises became more wow. pronounced the rustling leaves, the distant hoot of an owl, and the chorus of crickets. Wow. While everyone was settling in for the night, I decided to gaze Sweet out the jam. window, looking at the beautiful clear sky where stars were shining brightly. But as I was about to head to bed, a flash of light from the direction of the abandoned house yeah. caught my eye. I squinted and saw someone with a lantern moving inside the house, shadows dancing on the boarded windows. My initial thought was perhaps someone was living there. But then I remembered the stories. Curiosity got the best of me. I decided to sneak closer and see who was there. The light seemed to be moving through the house, from one room to another. I kept my distance, hidden behind trees. As I peered through a cracked window, my blood ran cold. I saw an elderly woman, with gray hair and a white nightgown, holding the lantern, muttering to herself. It was rumored that an old woman had lived there years ago, and had disappeared without a trace. Suddenly, the lantern's light dimmed, and she looked directly at the window I was peeking through, her eyes reflecting an eerie blue. Startled, I stumbled back with and ran to our cabin, locking the door behind me. I woke my friends and told them what I'd seen. But they laughed it off, suggesting I'd imagine things or perhaps had too much to drink. I barely slept, the image of that old woman haunting my thoughts. The next morning, we decided to investigate. To our shock, the inside of the house was covered in dust, cobwebs hanging from every corner. There was no sign that anyone had been there recently. We quickly packed our things and left the cabin earlier than planned. On our way out, we stopped by a local diner. I overheard an elderly man talking about the anniversary of the disappearance of a woman from the old house across the creek. When I inquired, he said it was exactly 50 years ago to the day. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Needless to say, we never returned to that cabin in the woods.